I'd like to call the meeting to order for Monday, March 16th, 2015. Please rise for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, Dennis Moody will lead us in prayer. Let us pray. Our Heavenly Father, again, we come to you thanking you for all the blessings of this day. We thank you for this change of season and the weather we have today. We ask you to be with us through our meeting tonight. Watch over us, guide us, and direct us. We ask you to be with those that are sick, those that have lost loved ones in our community. Comfort them and be with them and let them know that you're there. We ask you to be with us through this meeting tonight and lead it, guide, and direct us. These things we ask in thy name. Amen. 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 Thank you. <clears throat> Please show all present here tonight with the exception of Robert Taylor, Jr. Uh, the next time on the agenda will be approval of minutes from February 23rd, 2015. Entertain a motion to approve those. Somebody. Motion from Carolyn Norman. Is there a second? Second. Second from Bob Kirk. Bill Eskew, sorry. Bill Eskew. All in favor say aye. Aye. Those opposed? Motion carries. Unfinished business? Is there any unfinished business? Next item is new business. Under new business, there were uh, three notices of public hearings. I'll read each one of these. A notice of public hearing to be held on April 6, 2015. An ordinance to amend the text of the Dinesburg Municipal Zoning Ordinance to adopt regulations for solar farms and accessory solar collection systems. That's ordinance BB638. The next is notice of public hearing to be held on April 6, 2015, which is an ordinance amending the text of the Dysburg Municipal Zoning Ordinance by amending the sign regulations, ordinance number BB639. <clears throat> and the last one is notice of public hearing, April 6, 2015, which is an ordinance of the City of Dyersburg, Tennessee, adopting the annual budget and tax rate for the fiscal year beginning July 1, 2014, and ending June 30, 2015, ordinance number BB640, Steve Anderson, Treasurer. Steve, you want to tell us kind of what's going on with that and why we're having to redo this? We passed our budget uh, at the budget time. We sent it to the state. It was approved, and Steve will get us up to speed. You all should have received a letter along with the ordinance in your packet that kind of explains what we're doing here. The state has to approve hundreds of budgets. Every town has to submit their budget to the state to be approved. What the state is wanting is for every town to have their budget ordinance exactly in the same format so that it's easier for them to look through it, find the information that they need, and approve it. Our ordinance was not in the format that they wanted it in. We just had a short one-page ordinance that we attached to the front of the budget, and all the numbers are within the actual budget itself. They turned it into a nine-page ordinance with all the information that they want actually included in the ordinance. So this information is just it's information from our budget condensed into this ordinance. So nothing is changing as far as our budget. It's just changing the format of this budget ordinance, which has already been approved. Really what we're doing here is just amending this ordinance. Not changing any numbers at all, just changing the format of this ordinance. Steve, have we been this, submitting that in that form for years and years, and all of a sudden they notified you that yes, sir. it's not the form that they're going to accept? Yes, sir. They've made a lot of changes like that recently. And, and it took them seven months to let us know that? Yes, sir. Uh, you see the date that the letter was written I that I received January yeah, I 21st. That. And, yeah. That's what I'm, they, they've got hundreds of, ordin of budgets to approve, so it does, I mean, it normally takes them <coughs> close to half the year, you know, close to December before they approve our budget anyway, but are they looking at anything other, uh, any other new things that might be coming down the pike? I've There's things the that have changed as far as our audit report. Yeah. A lot of changes, which I've been working on that. We, I actually got the finished copy of that today, which we'll be getting y that out to y'all pretty soon. Is that soon. effective a lot already? Of changes. Is that effective already, those changes? Yes, we had to make a lot of changes to the report. Things that we've done, as long as I've been here at least, and a lot longer than that, that we've always done the same way that now are having to be done differently. And I think it's because of the, they changed the, they combined the departments of uh, state and local government, 
with some other department and they got a new person that's in charge they're just trying to do a lot of things differently uh, but but that's all this ordinance is it's just changing the format of the ordinance not changing any numbers or anything in the budget you gonna write them a letter and tell them uh, let us know a little sooner next time <laughs> I don't think I'll do that okay so move we approve okay send a motion for all three public hearings mr. Kirk yes okay I have a motion from Bob Kirk to uh, approve these notices of public hearings to be held on April 6 2015 and at that time we'll get into additional discussion on each one of those so uh, I have a motion is there a second 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 from Mike Morgan any discussion all in favor say aye aye, aye. those opposed motion carries next item the agenda attorney invoice your attorney invoice was attached to your agenda, the amount of the attorney invoice was three thousand four hundred twelve dollars and fifty cents. I'll entertain a motion to approve that. So moved. Motion from Kevin Cheney is our second. Second. Second from Bill Eskew. Any discussion? All in favor, say aye. Aye. Those opposed. Motion carries. Bids. Craig Williams. <coughs> The bid I have tonight is for the gas department. It's a vibratory plow for installing gas lines to uh, um, for residential services and uh, small mains. This was a budgeted item for $96,000. <coughs> Notification was given through the State Gazette and direct to two vendors. I had one no response and I sold bid. Uh, base bid was $84,650. They're allowing us 15,000 for our 93 and 99 plows that we're trading in. So I recommend awarding the bid to Vermeer Mid-South of Cordova for $69,650. How much did you say we had in the budget? 96,000. 96? That was based on the uh, budget figure without the trade-ins. Okay. You further recommendation, I'd entertain a motion to approve this. So moved. Motion from Carolyn Norman is our second. Second. Second from Kevin Cheney. Any discussion? All in favor say aye. Aye. Those opposed? Motion carries. Thank you. The mayor, while Greg's up here, may I ask a question, please? <clears throat> yes, sir. Uh, uh, since gasoline has been so cheap for a period of time now, are we saving a substantial amount of money on gasoline purchase for the city and the, the vehicles? We're saving a substantial amount compared to the last couple of years, yes. I mean, is it substantial compared to what we put in the budget for? Steve, I'd have to ask you that. I, he keeps so up with that, I don't. Okay, but we'll get into that, I guess, when we get in the new budget, but, uh, right. but we are saving a considerable amount That's because right. of the lower gasoline price. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, next item on the agenda, uh, report from Alderman, Bob Kirk. I don't have anything, Mayor. Thank you. Bill Eskew? I don't have anything. Mr. Glover? No report. Kevin? I don't have anything. Thank you. Mike? I don't have nothing. Dennis? Don't have anything. Ms. Carolyn? The only thing I've got is I praise the street department for working on the potholes. They're doing a good job. Thank you. We appreciate it. With that, we're adjourned. Got a guy from the job.